she watches as her old rival gets on the uneven bar. The Romanian's velocity, particularly oh. on this, oh, wow. Good save. Very good save. <laughs> the judges are gonna see it, though, and take a little deduction. They're a little sloppy, both she and her teammate, Maria Laru, are a little sloppy in the warm-ups. Watch the feet form. Not quite as fine-tuned as we're used to seeing. We talked to head coach Octavian Bellu before this competition. He said the young ladies were taking their examinations. They want to enter the university next year, so they aren't quite as fit as they normally expect to be, but she got to do that routine, didn't she? She pulled off a pretty good one. And besides, their philosophy is design routines to win, to hit. There's nothing spectacular in them, usually. Simona Aminar looking for her first major all-around title here. Just caught a glimpse of the tiny little break she had at the beginning, but as you said, Bart, she covered pretty well and got into the more difficult release move. Pretty tough performer. I'm familiar with those Romanians. They're pretty tough athletes. <laughs> 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 nice finish for Aminar. It'll still get a decent score. So Aminar waits the score. Dominic Mocianu gets set on even bars. I can only imagine what's going through her mind. And now back to the She's back in big time competition. And Aminar's score, 9.425. That ranks her third now. Remember, it's a two way race here with Aminar and Horkina. It's Mochiano. Bounce the bar. Now she's added a couple new elements or combinations right here out of her Pax Alto X. Oh, oh no. Good, good cover. <laughs> oh, she was over. Nice move. Still managed to keep form as she saved the element. We'll see what the judges do. And her dismount is new. So watch closely as she prepares for it. She's going to add a combination. It's very tricky. She's got to be right on. Here she twists into it, right into the double front. Excellent. Good for her. Very good for her. An adoring crowd. And Mochiano's not uh, her best event, the bars. You know, that was the one event where she was going to have to get a little lucky, and I think she did. She was over on that one handstand, made a good cover-up, and as you mentioned, Kathleen, she didn't even break form. She kept the rhythm going beautifully. What was nice to see is she didn't hold back. She really took that pack salt way up, and it made it riskier. She does this beautifully. Has to get her feet on the bar. She had a lot more swing than she expected, so she went over the bar and had to add another half pirouette. But... Just turns right around again and back into the routine. We're seeing a very different competitor than we did in 96. A five inches of growth since then? And some maturity and experience, too, that wasn't Ladies there before. The I think she's settling in now. You see her coach next to her, Luminitsa Mischenko. 9.625, and that is uh, well out in front of what Aminar had on the uneven bars and a higher score than Horkina had on the vault. And the standings after the first rotation, the USA's Dominique Mociano returns to big time competition with a big time first rotation. 9.625 puts her in the lead. Olaru and Meng Fei right behind her. Here is Dominique Mociano. And where are the top three from the world championships? Well, Horkina, Aminar, and Protonova are ranked four, five, six. Welcome back inside Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum for more gymnastics. It's the women's all around. And as we look at it now, after two rotations, a pretty exciting event. Dominic Mociano of the U.S. is in the lead. 19.375 her score. Svetlana Horkina, the world champion, just 88 thousandths behind. And then Maria Olaru is point two back. Hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Lewis, along with two of those superstars from the 1980s, Kathy Johnson-Clark and Bart Connor. Your thoughts on what has happened so far? My, Dominic Mociano comes back to competition ready to roll. It's hard not to be really excited about Dominic Mociano, especially having seen her at the World Championships last year, where she wasn't quite up to speed, and you didn't see the desire in her eyes. Boy, she has been back in the gym. She's added new elements. It's just exciting to see. Bart? Yeah, I tell you, if you would have said at the halfway point at the Goodwill Games that Dominique Mochana would be leading the all-around over Svetlana Horkina, I would have said, you're crazy. There's no chance, but she looks refocused and very intense. Now, Horkina is coming up on the balance beam in this next rotation, an event where she can be spectacular or she can go flying. Seems like Mochana was really on target, and she seems really 
focused to finish this competition with two great events coming up. Well, someone who knows about Dominic Mochano very well is her teammate from 1976, a gold medal winner there. Now on the floor as a reporter for us, let's go to Amanda Borden for your thoughts, Amanda, on Dominic Mochiano's performance here. Dominique has performed wonderfully tonight. But what I'm impressed with is the fact that I can see the fire in her eyes that she had in Atlanta. She is here tonight to prove to everyone that she's back. But I also think she's here to capture a Goodwill Game medals for herself. at highlights now from the second rotation. This is Horkina on the uneven bars, and she had to have a good uneven bars. This is her best event. And Greg, she had a phenomenal uneven bar routine with beautiful creativity, unbelievable difficulty. But watch as she gets to the end of the routine right after this trademark move that's still named after her. I mean, up to this point, it's perfect. Now look, she overbalances that handstand just a hair. That is the difference, why she's in second and Mochiano's in first. She got a 9.8 for that. And remember, she's the Olympic world all-around and European all-around champion, but champion in bars in each one of those events as well, those competitions. Svetlana Horkina was able to pull herself from fourth to second in the second rotation, but this has not been the case for Simona Aminar. She dropped in the second rotation down to ninth, and now on the floor exercise in a desperate position. Unfortunately, she had a fall on her mount on the balance beam. This is certainly an event where she can score well based on her difficulty. Romanian's not known for artistic gymnastics, not inspired gymnastics, so the floor exercise is a little tougher for her. I would just say they're less artistic. They have a different uh, view of what gymnastics routines should look at. As I said before, their philosophy is train and compete to win. So they build routines around consistent elements, not necessarily beautiful or artistic. Talked to head coach Octavian Bellu before the competition. He said he was a little concerned about the fitness level of his young ladies because as we said earlier, they were working on their examinations, trying to get into the university. So he said, I don't know how well they're going to do. They just have to work a little bit harder. But with talent, the talent level that she has, easily pulls off a double pike at the end. Nonetheless, point eight behind the leader, Mochianu, after two rotations. Almost impossible to make up. Simona Aminar. Take a look at how she hangs these tumbling moves up in the air. This is where she really is a specialist. Very nice pike double back somersault at the end of the routine. Even though her coach says her conditioning isn't great, she sure had plenty of endurance to do that move at the end. And here is the leader after two rotations, America's Dominique Mochianu, getting set for floor exercise. Youngest U.S. senior champion ever at age 13 and 95, Simona Aminar, a 9.675. Well, that's an improvement. But being point eight behind after two rotations, not enough. Right before Dominique stepped onto the floor, you could see her mouthing something to herself. She's so focused on this meme. Very popular river dance. You can just feel the energy in this building lifting her up. cleanest I've ever seen her in her dance. Triple twist. Stuck it around. An event in which her five inches of growth serves her better? Absolutely. I just think her lines are much more beautiful. For several years, she had the cutesy kind of routines. It's nice to see her do something a little more mature and elegant.
have to say, that's the best floor performance I've ever seen her do.